close your eyes. I know you may find this redundant, because you are already wearing a VR headset, but trust that following the simple instructions I provide might enhance your experience. I'm going to ask you to imagine you are somewhere else, somewhere you've never been before. To enhance your focus and deepen your relaxation, I'd like you to enjoy a few moments of gentle breathing. Inhale. Now, please, through the nose if you like. Fill up your belly with oxygen. Fill up your ribs. Fill up your chest and up into your neck and shoulders. Now, exhale taking as long as you took to inhale. I'd like you to inhale again, now thinking about what wonder feels like. Good. Now, as you exhale, think about what it feels like to be comfortable and at ease with yourself and your situation. Wonderful. Take a few more breaths, thinking and feeling those two emotional concepts. You can open your eyes now. You're floating. You feel like you might be inside some sort of gleaming turquoise bubble. The bubble feels like it is slowly descending. Towards what? You don't know, so you look down. You are descending, and now you know what you're descending towards. You're in the Brandscape. You are approaching from above a seemingly endless expanse of rippling pastel pink hills. You float over the pink hills, speckled with moss of vibrant green, beneath a sky perpetually shifting through the gentler stages of a cloud-crowded sunset. It's always summertime, 8 p.m., in the Brandscape. There is no such thing as night here. The floating is slow and gentle, and aquarium music relaxes your mind. Don't forget to breathe. Take a deep, generous breath. You'll need every bit of oxygen you can absorb, for everything you're about to see will take your breath away. Now, exhale and give yourself back to the Brandscape and the beauty of it which now bathes you. Abstract shapes and lines of the brightest colors inhabit the fields you look down on like formations of geese and flocks of antelope. Brands do move in herds. One thing you notice amidst this natural splendor are that some of the shapes move less organically, more industrially. Massive shapes pump or rotate with gentle yet steady rhythm. It's hard to spend time thinking about what these shapes are, because all around you, everything is wondrous. It is impossible not to feel relaxed, 
And at the exact moment you begin to think how there is no way you have ever felt such happiness as this, the hills begin to part. Beyond them sits a structure that leaves you in awe. The hills have ended, a vast plain has begun, and the object of your dumbstruck curiosity lies at its center. It is a mountain, two mountains, or two pyramids of the softest, most comfortable pink. Floating atop the larger of the two pyramids hang two matching clouds, or rectangles, or prisms maybe. They match the sky so perfectly it is as if they are cloaked in it. They might float away over the horizon if it were not for the clear strings or tubes that seem to hold it to the pyramids. You are close to the pyramids now. You can look up and gape at its height. You spot a door and are mystified but drawn to it, drawn to it.